Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be taking a look at this Dell Inspiron 530. This used to be my granddad's PC, but he decided to upgrade. This computer was released all the way back in 2007, meaning the hardware inside this computer today is practically useless. He said I could take it, which gave me the opportunity to make this video. As you can see, it's pretty dusty, so join me as I clean and upgrade the components inside this PC. This computer has 2GB of DDR2 RAM, an Intel Pentium dual core CPU, and a 320GB hard drive, and also has Windows 7 Professional installed on it. Speaking of the specs, this computer took absolutely forever to boot up, so I had to speed up the video. Thankfully I was welcome to a rather tidy desktop. This shows the specs in more detail, as you can see the clock speed of this CPU is terrible. And so is my camera as well, this was filmed on a first gen iPhone SE. So yeah, sorry about the terrible camera quality. I promise that I'll film with a better camera next time since I've got an iPhone 12 now, which will make all the difference. I decided to rerun Windows Experience Index to see if the score would have changed. Just for fun really. I wasn't really expecting it to change, but I thought, why not? And yes, this also took absolutely forever due to the horrendous specs of this computer. There's nothing to show since the score didn't change at all. But just for fun, I'm going to install Windows Vista on this computer because yes. This computer also took absolutely forever to shut down, so once again I had to speed up the clip to make it bearable. I'm definitely going to be upgrading certain components inside this computer. Here I am copying over a Windows Vista ISO to my USB drive. This was all done in my Dell Vostro 400 which was featured in my previous PC restoration video. I also decided to install Windows Vista on this computer because this would have been the operating system that would have been pre-installed on the computer when it was bought. This computer used to have Windows Vista Home Basic on it, from what I vaguely remember. And my granddad upgraded to Windows 7 due to the fact Windows Vista was ending support. But since I want everything to be original on this computer, I decided to reinstall Windows Vista. And yes, the installation took forever, but ha on the other hand, it didn't take as long as I thought it would have. But still, it took absolutely forever at the end of the day. Here we are in the Windows Vista out of box experience, setting the computer up as you know anyone would. This video was actually filmed way back in July of 2020, it's March 2021 as I'm currently editing and rendering this video. There we go, we've successfully, well I have successfully installed Windows Vista Business on this computer. And yeah, it went pretty smoothly, a lot smoother than I expected. Surprisingly, Aero isn't actually lagging that much despite the terrible specs of this computer. And it got around the same score as the Windows 7 install did. And yes, as you can see by these pictures, there is some dust build up inside the case of this computer. The fans are coated in layers of dust, as well as the motherboard and the, ca and the case itself really. The CPU heatsink is disgusting. However, I'm going to be taking apart this computer and giving it a nice clean, because judging by those photos, it really needs one. So now I'm going to start removing components from the PC and working my way around the computer to give it a nice big clean because there is dust everywhere in this computer especially the front part where the air intake is it is just clogged with dust here we have a pretty standard Seagate hard drive 320 gigabyte momentous one with a nice bit of dust on it because that's just what every hard drive needs
Here we have the rear fan of the computer, again looking pretty dusty. Here we have the motherboard from the computer. It's a pretty standard Foxconn motherboard, which is fitted in most Dell computers. Here we have the power supply from the computer. I'm not sure what the wattage is since I filmed this way back in July, so I don't really remember. Just like the Dell Vostro 400, a lot of dust has congregated in this part of the computer. Well, this is the air intake, so that explains why. And here we have the DVD RW drive, pretty standard. I decided to do something quite stupid, so basically I took all the components out of my main PC and decided to place them inside the Dell Inspiron 530's case. All I can say is don't attempt this, it's not worth it, it's not going to work because the power connector at the front of the computer of the Dell Inspiron 530 is totally different and it won't work. So just, just don't even bother trying this, trust me it won't work. I decided to give the case a final vacuum, since the case was an empty shell at this point. Now let's apply some new thermal paste, since the old one was as dry as sand in a desert. Now the computer is all back together. Stay tuned for part two because that is the part where I'm going to upgrade all the components inside this computer. I'll see you around.